How's it going, everybody? It's the Shirtless Chef coming at you with another episode of How Will It Cook? So, let's roll the title. So, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to bulk up instant ramen using some random items I have in my random bits of food and some sauces and things like that that I've got little bits of and show you how to bulk up and add extra calories to your diet. As you can see, I'm bored thin, but a lot of it has to do with my CDH issues. So without further ado, let's get started. And yes, we have the cat with us today. So. I think everyone can see it. We're going to start off getting this pan heated up. I'm going to put some water in it so we can just kind of steam our ramen. We don't really want to boil it, per se, in this case. We're just looking to kind of steam it. It's been relatively cold the last couple of days here in Knoxville, so... I don't know how you all have been with your weather. But we had snow right around... Or... Yeah. We had snow right around Christmas a few weeks ago. So, it's been weird. Especially now that it's back in the mid-50s, low-60s. That's a very bizarre turnaround. But, at this point, all we're waiting on is our water to heat up. They turn the heat up a little bit. So, did everyone have a good Christmas? I know why I did. Um, I got to spend it with myself, my dad, my sister, and her boyfriend. So it was an interesting experience. Normally, I don't I kind of put all my cooking videos to the way to the back side after or right before the holidays, right at Thanksgiving, just because there was so much going on. I knew there was no way I could keep up with everything doing an episode three days a week, trying to keep up with my stream, trying to continue to work, and now pretty soon starting school. I kind of needed a couple of days to, a couple of weeks to figure out everything. So, this is one of those that we are going to fly by the seat of our pants today. I have an idea as to what I want to do, but mine is more the fact that we have, like I said, a bunch of random things. That is not closed. We have soy sauce, two small containers of it, from sushi we had a couple of weeks ago. I did not make the sushi, I found it. There's this little sushi truck here in Knoxville that, if you know anything about Central Street, you know exactly where this place is. But there's a little place called Central Filling Station. Looks like our water is starting to heat up. Got some sweet and sour sauce that we've had since probably the last time we had Chinese takeout. It's been several weeks ago. 
The only issue with this is it's separated. But it still smells okay. We've got an egg, which we're going to use to bulk up our protein. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can really add to this to bulk up the calories on it. Now, I'm going to show you, this is going to come together relatively quick. I'm going to put the whole block of ramen noodles in there. And that will start to cook really quick. Maybe three minutes or so. The other thing we're going to add is one egg. Smells okay. And we're just going to kind of boil it in with our rock. We're not going to try and scramble it or anything. We're just going to boil it as is. I probably should not have done that, but that's a whole different story. I'm going to get a spoon, though. Now this would kind of be a little bit like poaching an egg, but not the same. I'm going to grab a lid for our pan. And this isn't going to take very long. I mean, we're already at seven minutes, and that included my intro. So let that steam for a minute. And yes, you all are probably correct. I am not poaching an egg per se. That pretty much did exactly what I wanted it to. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get a bowl check on our ramen Looks like our egg's pretty much cooked. Put a little bit of water on it just to make sure it fully cooks. 
if anyone has ever seen this, the, the only thing I'm missing from Naruto Ramen would be The fish cake, which, I'll be honest, is rather hard to find in the United States. But, that's essentially what this is. We're going to turn our heat off. That cooked perfectly. Now, I pulled that off and realized I messed up a step. So we're going to add this to our kind of soup base. We're just going to stir this in. I am going to pull my egg out, though. A small bowl for that. And here, is our poached egg. Set that to the side. We're going to kind of get our sweet and sour sauce turned back to a whipped. Now, in this case, we're literally just making a broth for the ramen. That's it. This is where all your flavor is going to be, since we did not add the flavoring packet for the soup. To be honest, those flavoring packets are full of nothing but salt. So, this is actually healthier. How much healthier, I am not quite sure, but... It's really good. Add our sushi sauce. Stir that together for a second. Now, I understand this is not considered cooking and may seem weird to people, but it's not bad. But, This thing is actually pretty good. Add a little bit of our soy sauce. Just pour it over top. And one last thing. An eating utensil. That's really good. Now, put our poached egg back on top. 
And I want to show you what this looks like all together. So here we are. This is the egg, the ramen, and the sauce. And all that, all this has been leftovers. There's nothing special about what I did. Now let's see how our egg did. Tastes like it's cooked all the way through. That's pretty good. So, I'm going to have to edit that. But for, for the shirtless chef, this has been a take on Naruto style ramen with leftovers from the fridge. I try to do a lot of this for fun and to try and teach you all that cooking isn't really that hard. The only thing I messed up in all this is I think I messed up my poached egg. But you know what? If that's the biggest thing that I did, that's not bad. But otherwise, this is really good. So, for the shirtless chef, I will see you on Friday with how to cook. Have a great day, and see you next time.